might as well test your lights and make sure they're all function. Daytime lights are on. We got park lights on the truck. We got park lights on the plow. And this side, that's good. And we are on low beam. I've checked my high beam. Now I turn my uh, left hand turn signal on. And it's working. And I want to test the uh, curb side. It's working. Let's check the, uh, let's grease all the uh, electrical components and connections and all the valves and any re rust we'll want to take some fine sandpaper and sand it off and keep it clean. So now we're using some dielectrical grease and uh, you'll want to apply it. Check these off. Make sure there's no rust and it's clean. And we'll want to apply some grease. All the wires make sure there's grease up here on the, uh, the valves because if this rust is up here uh, you could lose the ground to your coils and you won't have they won't work and we're going to apply some grease on your ground connection here as well your ground is your number one friend you want to make sure they stay good and clean Apply a little bit here on our power. Now everything's greased, the oil's changed, everything's tight. We checked all the bolts, like on your pump, and make sure they're all tight. And no cracks. So now we're satisfied. Now we're going to put the cover back on. And now we are ready to remove the blade from the truck. Now I'm going to show you some easy steps to remove this blade. So what we want to start with is put it in float. You're going to hold the down button for 30 seconds. You want to put your jack in. Now you're going to want to jack it up. Now I see my lift frame moved a bit. Take your safety pin out. I'm going to give it another drink. And that pin should come in and out real easy once you get it in that sweet spot. So now we'll pull the pin out. We'll put the safety pin in. So it won't snap shut on you. And now we'll unplug all the connectors. And check, make sure none of the hoses or anything is going to get caught. Now we have removed the blade from the truck. We want to apply grease to the power cable here to prevent it from corroding. And you want very little in here on the pins. You don't want too much. And then you plug these two plugs together. And now tap it for the sump. And now when you just apply grease, and it should be good for the sump. And now we're going to apply grease on the bare cylinders. And on these, uh, where it's, see how it's rust uh, wore out, we want a little bit of grease to detect that from rusting. So slide smooth in for you. Now you can see we have greased the cylinders with some axle grease, and we greased the pins and the sleeve here, so everything will stay clean and slide for you. And now this is ready to storage for the summer.